But God is a God of refreshing. Now just the idea that God is a God of refreshing lets us understand that we as God's people are going to need seasons of refreshing. One of the lies of the devil and his kingdom is that lie that says that if you truly are connected to God, if you've truly been saved, if you've truly given your life to the Lord, then you're going to walk in in just the freshness of God all the time. In fact, the devil will bring condemnation on you when you feel a little tired. He is not intended for you to live in continual revival. He is intended for you to learn to walk by faith and not by sight. Did you know that sight is the opposite of faith? Amen. I know for many years we've heard in America, and, and I've said it, I believed it. And uh, Tony Miller brought some light to that, that, that fear is the opposite of faith. But according to the word, we walk not by sight, but by faith. But I'm glad God sent me into this house for this night to bring this word that he is a God of refreshing, that he's got a set season of refreshing. I believe that there is a set season coming upon this region and upon this city. I believe the houses of God that are ready are going to receive times of refreshing. I don't care if the Methodist church gets refreshed. I don't care if the Catholic church gets a move of God. I don't care if the Baptist church gets a move of God. I don't even care if the other Pentecostals get a move of God. Hallelujah. I don't care as long as we're ready at Franklin Avenue to receive a season of refreshing from the Lord. Amen. Let him refresh every house. Amen. This ain't about our church and their church and his church and her church. This is about his church, God's church. Amen. And we're ready for times of refreshing to come. Amen. Let's be prepared. Are you ready? For set times, I believe we get a set time. I sense in my spirit. Amen. A set time is coming. Hallelujah. Are we ready?